It is day 14 of March Madness. I have my magic circle and I have a little yoga brick with me uh, for today's magic circle double leg kick inspired workout. We're going to start with some side lying work and that's why I have this yoga brick. I wanted to show two different options as far as the position when you get set up. So we're going to lay on our side. So if it feels okay for you to stretch your arm out overhead, you can be here. If it doesn't, sometimes that's a big range in our shoulder, or something's pinching, doesn't feel good, a great option is to put a yoga brick or something, anything you have at home works, underneath of you. Make sure your shoulders are nice and stacked so it's comfortable. And then if you have the yoga brick, you'll be holding the magic circle like this and kind of squeezing a little more with both hands. If you're not using that, then we'll take the arm overhead like this. So our goal is to get ourselves all set up in either of those positions and really have our body in a nice straight line. So if you look down, you can like barely see your feet. Your body is in a nice straight line. Feels like a little balance work just to be here. All right, we're going to anchor our top shoulder blade, especially if that hand's underneath, you'll have a little more awareness of that bottom one. You're going to press into the circle, and then I want us to see, could we just do a little lift both legs and lower? This is not a big lift. All right, you're going to press into your circle as you lift and lower, lift and lower. Good. Could you hold the legs lifted wherever you get? Five presses with the top arm. One, two, three, four, five, and then we'll lower to come back down. All right, next step, we're just going to keep steady pressure into our magic circle. You're going to lift the legs with both legs just gently hugged together. I want you to do a little kick, kick towards your butt. I want you to feel the thigh stretch. I want you to push those hips forward, and then you're going to straighten the legs back out. Let them lower down and take a little mini rest in between. And these are a lot of work. We're going to lift the legs up. You're kicking behind you, pushing your hips forward. I want you to get that thigh stretch. Straighten the legs. And then lower to come back down. Good. Let's do it again. Legs lift. We'll do a little kick, kick. Reach the legs and come back down. Feels like we should do one more of those just to practice them. Lift thighs up. You're really just bending at your knees. If anything, it feels like the thighs are going backwards a little bit. That makes sense. And then come back down. Good. Okay, let's switch. Let's try that on the other side. Remember, yoga break works as well. And if you're doing the yoga break, maybe I should show that on this one. I'll switch it. The yoga break is, or something is under your head and then your hands are stacked and then we would just hold the magic circle. So on that, on this variation, my um, bottom hand is under the circle. All right, so let's play with that. Engage into your magic circle, anchor your shoulder blades, make sure your body's in that nice straight line. I had check mine, and then lift and lower just with those legs. All right, lift and lower, lift and lower, lift. And lower and then we did that little bonus at the top where we lifted and just the top arm did little presses one two three four five and then we lowered to come back down and then the next set we pressed into our circle we lifted the legs and then we bend at our knees and we do a little kick kick extend the legs straight get a little rest lift them up a little they're pretty much just in line with our with our hips when we lift them, bend them, reach them back out, and then lower down. Okay, we got two more. We did four on that other side. We should do the same thing here. Lift, do a little kick, kick, reach the legs out, lower back down. Last one, lift them up, and I'll kick, kick, reach the legs, and then lower to come back down. Okay. Now, you get to come up from there. We're going to turn it over on our bellies and just do a little version of our double leg kick exercise with our magic circle. So what you'll do is take this circle behind you. Now, for some reason this feels like mm, it's a little tight in my shoulders to get here. You can do this without the magic circle. I'm going to hold my magic circle and I'm going to think about pulling it apart, kind of starting with it on my butt. I'm going to hover my face above the mat, extend my legs, 
pull that circle apart and kind of feel that engagement. Take a nice big inhale. As I exhale, I'm going to do three kicks toward my butt. They kind of feel just like those ones we just did. And then as my legs reach out, I'm going to come up into my swan and just see if I can lift my circle up. I'll come back down, hover my face, plant my circle on my butt, kick, 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 and then we'll do it again. We'll reach the legs, we'll reach our arms, we'll lift our circle to help us with our swan, come back down and do that kick, kick, kick. We should do two more. Inhale, we'll reach the circle, lift it up. Exhale, then come back down. Last one, kick, kick, kick. Legs, reach arms, reach, we lift the circle up. And then come back down. Let's come up on those knees and just come back to a little, a little cat here as we end. Drop the head round the back. Do a little lift your head, roll into your arch. One more, just round your back. Hold that stretch if it feels good for you. And then we'll roll ourselves back up. Done. Thank you for joining me today for some March Madness fun with our magic circle. I will see you tomorrow.